day one, nasa public market kami ng Katanawan. Katanawan, di ba? And I'm with Don Alberto. Hello. <laughs> Magigib kami ng <laughs> tubig. Pag dito sa Quezon, walang tubig. <laughs> Kasama ko si Don Alberto. Grabe, trick na trick yung araw. Wala pa rin akong sanda. Hindi pa ako nakapagpagay. So, higit pa lang kami. Mahinit nga. Pero ang maganda dito sa Quezon, sa pinuntahan namin is malamig yung hangin. So, parang, parang kang nagsispray na facial mist sa mga pag-aangin ito. Medyo hindi maganda yung lighting. So, may ano lang ulit, uh, after namin maligo, pupunta kami sa dagat to witness the sunset. See you there! Pag. Welcome back! Mag Uy, mag-hi ka! Hello! At papunta na kami sa mga pinsa niya uh, to invite them. Kasi pupunta na kami sa beach. See you there. So, on the way na kami sa beach. Hopefully, makatch namin yung sunset. We are a little bit running out of our time, pero... Laban! Na may mga pinsa na yan. Hello guys! Hi! Ayan. <laughs> mga pinsa na Albert. <laughs> so guys, slow tide siya. Um, itong part na to, yung may puno, you have to cross yung mga iniwang something ng mga bakawan. you will have to take the struggle. Hindi ko siya nakunan kanina kasi lumulubog ako, di ba? Di ba, babe? Yes. <laughs> well, guys, manguhuli ako ngayon ng jellyfish. Yeah. Ang OA. Okay. <laughs> Wait so, lang. Meron siya na itong jellyfish. Kailangan lang. Asa na yun? Tara! Ayun, Ang haba! Ang haba ng gulamay niya! Puta! Ang haba! Okay. O, ayun na. Tapos, anong gagawin mo dyan? Sakit sa Tatanggalan ko siya ng gulamay. Bakit mo siya tatanggalan? Parang tinanggalan mo siya ng karapatan mabuhay. Guys, this is animal cruelty. Don't try this at all. Huwag nyo siyang tutularan kasi ay bad shot. Ang sakit ang ginagawa niya. It's so painful. Pero sabi niya, para din daw yung sika bumuti na marami. So it's like sacrificing one's life to save humanity. Boom. Ito na yung tinanggalan niya ng galamay. Ayun o, bumagalaw pa siya o, diba? Bumagalaw pa siya. Kahit wala na siya ng galamay. So, masakit kasi yan eh. Joshua approaching. Yan si Joshua. Ayun o! Ay kaso, awa ka mo to! Awa ka! Itikit nyo na sa kanya! Hindi! Hindi! Okay lang yan! Sikat. Magkasawa siya. Ano yung sikat? Sikat? Ito yung shell na kakainin. Ayun, parang similar dun sa kanina. Yes. Ito yung isa. Kinukos natin, wait. Ayun. Ayaw niya lumabas eh. 
Kaso baka manipit Ito yung gumagapang ano Oo Naninipit siya eh kanina Takot siya eh Anong masasabi mo sa nakuha mo ako ma? Nice Sa'yo pang layo hindi kita Guys, sa totoong buhay, ang laki niya. Hindi ko maintindihan bakit ganun yung mga phone cameras. Hindi nila ma... Hindi ko siya ma-focus. Nandun sila kay Alvin Ace. Hello you guys. Day 3 in Quezon, last day namin today. So we are going to spend a little time sa nakatu namin kaapon. Hindi ako masyadong nakakuha ng personal vid videos kasi I, we spent the entire day sa reunion nila. So pun punong abala ito, kaya <laughs> hindi kami masyadong nakapag-band. Well, banding with the family. It was fine. I'm gonna be making a separate video for that. Parang yun na yung gift ko sa Manila. Hi Albert. Hi. Winning kami. Thing I like about this one, yung way na para na dito nila. Malamig. I think it comes out naturally. Kaya additional pa yung act. Basta yun yung mga wordings nakakaliw lang kasi nakakadagdag sa salambing so pag nag-uusap sila parang alambing-lambing nila ako lahat <laughs> naglalambingan gano'n I can almost see you hindi <laughs> ko alam yung lyrics vlog vlog ka na si Manong magbabalon You know, shit. Hello guys. So ito na, prepared na kami, ready na kami. Uh, Nakapag-beef na, nakapag-outfit na kami. <laughs> OT. Ayan si Albert, Don Alberto. Ayan. Mag- we picture taking na kami for a little while and then after that kumuha kasi yung mga kasama namin ng, bar ng baka parang ganyan motorboat um, hindi ko alam kung saan kami pupunta pero maganda daw dun yung pupuntahan namin so I'm gonna take you with me again ito na yung bangka pupunta na kami hindi ko parang alam kung saan <laughs> We are finally here. Hindi ko alam pa nang tawag sa island na ito, pero... Andito na kami. Anong tawag dito? Hi! Hi! Hello! May liham sa mukha mo! Game! Pabalik na kami ng Patanawan. Ang saya. Maganda yung place, yung pinuntahan namin. Wala siyang mga bakawan. Bakawan na tawag. Oh, enjoy. 
so grabe mga bato siya sa santo tulis yung mga bato pero dami mag bato umaya na guys ang ini day for you guys day for you guys all uh, actually unexpected na magde day for kami kasi supposedly last night uwi na kami kaso decisions changed gusto mag extend ng mga tao ako rin naman ayaw mabitin it's really fun staying dito sa Quezon kasi you get relaxed nakaka relax at ang dami mong nagagawa hindi ka nagugutom ang dami pagkain still with the hotel and with the cousins that's it so good today pupunta ulit kami ng dagat pupunta ulit kami ng upong ay mungpong mungpong yun yung island na pinunta namin yesterday it was so nice to pero ngayon, sinasabihin na kami kasi it's, ano oras na? I think it's almost 12 noon. And yesterday when we went there, maaga kami pumunta. So, mababa pa yung alon. So, people are saying na mataas na yung alon today. Yung ganito oras. Actually, kahapon, pabalik kami from the island. Malakas na yung alon. Tapos, merong muntik mahulog sa amin. Hindi ako na mapag shoot doon kasi matubig, matalsik yung public. So I'll see you guys later. We have finally arrived sa dagat. Malakas nga yung hangin. Tapos high tide sa ngayon. So makikipag-negotiate muna kami. Titignan namin kung papayagat kami yung pumalang. Di ba ede? 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 Matamis nga ito. Nakakain talaga yan. Hindi ko alam. Hello. So, hindi kami na today sa Mung Pong Island kasi malakas na nga yung alam. Hindi na kami pinayagan na mag-red ng boat. So, we are waiting for tricycles para inipad kami ng change location kami. May pupuntaan kami sa Marco Beach. Hindi ko alam ko ng tawag sa kanya. Pero it doesn't require sea transportation. So, matatry sa kailan kami. Habang nag-iintay kami, gusto ko na rin i-take yung moment. I wanna take this moment to turn a light. Just to share a little bit of experience that I had here. Nakakatuwa kasi first of all, yung mga tao dito sa Benson, ang babayit nila, especially yung family ni Albert, they treated me as a family ni Albert, they are an outcast, kaya ako sa mga lao. Secondly, ang dami, ang dami pagkain, hindi ka magpupulong, hindi mo na kayo na masasabihin mo. Hindi ka pagpupulong pagkain na kayo, like, complete meals, breakfast, tapos parenta, lunch, Ganito ulit, it's dinner, so ang dami, hindi ka mahubuto. And what I like about the people here is yung Budlo fight. Laging sila nagbubudlo fight and I realized when you do that, it unites people. Nagsasama-sama yung mga tao. So it really helps in terms of building a strong relationship with your family relatives. Yung pinutahan kasi namin dito is mostly 
for the reunion. Uh, reunion ng family ni Albert and the rest of the clan. So, nagsasighted lang kami para sa mga dagat. Ayan, sensory na rin kami. Malapit na kami dito. Kaya, I'm going to regain myself, like self esteem. People here are very appreciative. They tell you how much they appreciate you, they tell you how much you are welcome. They are very welcoming, and hospitality is really alive here in Kelsoy. So, brandaming mabubay na ta. Another thing that I like here in the province is. Yung hangin, it's very fresh. Walang uso, walang pollution. At saka, yung hampas na hangin sa yung malamig. Hindi siya katulad sa mga city na kahit yung hangin, kahit yung hangin maliging. Ito talaga, parang parang nagsaspray na aloe vera mist. So, Last night was a blast. Gusto ko rin mag-share ng konting experience ko last night. Day 3, uh, night 3. <laughs> Ang saya kasi, after the boodle fight ng dinner, minum kami. And I think we had more than 20 cases. Sobrang dami. Lahat ng magkakakanang it turned out to be like an extension of their reunion. Nakakatuwa lang kasi after the event, after the reunion, it doesn't stop there. People still communicate. Yung nakakatuwa sa kanila. And that is something that you wouldn't be able to see sa lahat ng pag-India. Di ba? Ito ba ito natin? Di lahat ng families, di lahat ng brand. And don't fight this. Like a yell. So yun nga. I think I went to sleep last night at around 3 in the morning and hindi pa sila tapos na If I'm not mistaken, around 3 in the morning. Excited akong magtimbang pagbalik na Manila kasi sobrang daming food dito. Kain kami ng kain. So I think I have gained weight. Tapos may nakapagsabi sa akin na but it's all in the lion candy lock. My share for long then. Okay, my guys, but when the beach by you do still mind about your skin, going to be by your own, or you just give them all. Now, I'll say when I said to the sign. Every time na pupunta ako sa dagat, gusto ko na. Okay, enjoy na. Gusto ko na. So, maramdaman yung nature. So, I am always out. In the open. Whenever I am out of town. What I'm trying to say is, parang yung skin mo, babalik naman yun eh. Diba? Babalik naman yun sa natural mo na skin. So, I wouldn't really mind kung magtan ako or kung may timan ako na rin. In person, really, hindi naman ako magtan. But, I really don't pay attention much to my skin if I get darker. Kasi, what matters to me is the experience. Kung ano yung na-experience mo while you're in that place that you barely go to. Sana kayo. And right now, I don't feel any stress kasi super na-relieve yung stress ko ever since I went here. Day one pa lang, sabi ko nga, pagkababa na pagkababa na ako ba, na-feel ko na kagad yung air. Nung na-amoy ko yung sinuwi na hangin dito, nawala lahat ng pagod ko. To think na wala ko nang maayos na tulad that day. Because Thursday we came out, then after work we had to do some things para magprepare. And then sa van na kami na tulo, and I think naalis kami na Manila around 12:30 in the morning already. 
So just imagine, yung biyahe namin from Manila to Quezon, it took us, I think, 6 to 7 hours. And yung tulog lang natin is very minimal. Siyempre, we can makapinig sa van ng mga ayos. But when I step foot dito sa Quezon, the very moment na bumaba akong van, I feel re-energized. As in, nawala talaga yung van. such an amazing experience na ma-regenerate ka agad yung energy mo. Uh, Alis na kami guys. Kaya tawag na ako. I'm gonna see you again. We have arrived in our destination. Uh, it's called the Mactac Beach. Hey look guys. The ilog is connected to water. And so nice. Lipat daw kami ng beach, pero we have to hike a little bit para makarating dun. So makakit kami ngayon ng bundok. Medyo madulas kasi basa pa yung mga paan namin. <laughs> Ang hirap pataas. Tapos marami daw tinik. Lahat lang. Dito na kami sa dagat. Merong abandoned building dito. Pero, the view. It's so nice. Look at the view. Hello guys. So yeah, I decided to make this as the closing remarks of my Katanawan Quezon vacation video. Um, to document how I really felt about this trip. Honestly guys, never in my entire life that I felt this lonely leaving a place that I've only visited once. I, I don't know, it could be the beauty that the place offers or it could be the, the people and the traits that they have. I don't know. I don't know what really made me feel this way. Um, I don't know if this feeling is right or wrong but I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, Quezon is a place where I felt home and a place that offers to clear your mind, unite with your senses, reevaluate your core values and relive them. And I think this is the reason why I got so attached seriously that even if days have already passed, I'm still here, uh, feeling lonely that I am not there at this moment. So hopefully I could get a chance to go back there again. But for now, I'm gonna live my life. Well, I'm gonna end this vlog first and live my life as normal as I can. So, thank you so much for watching. If you've reached uh, this part of the video, this is the end of it. Um, if you liked it, uh, don't forget to hit like down below and subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna be uploading another video. Actually, I have two videos pending. Um, it's the Quezon reunion video and then the other one is my trip to Talisay and Zambalian. So I hope you guys follow and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye!